Oh yeah, it's that Friday feeling. Oh yeah, we have got everything. We have got our crimpers, we have got our cable, we have got our connectors. There is no excuse. Let's build some cable on this Friday. Alrighty then, let's get all up close and personal. Okay, enough of that, but it is a Friday feeling. You can't see me, but I'm going woohoo, woohoo. Okay, so this is basically how to make a servo cable. Now, I'm making a build with a Zod HD, which I'll leave a link at the end. And I need to put a, uh, a receiver into the wing. Now, let's grab the wing. Um, so this is the Zod HD wing. I've taken out a little bit of foam. You get like a, a little bit of brick, chewy brick that, that goes in there. And I'm going to stick one of these in there. Now, I did want to get one of these. Now, it's going to be hard because I've taken off the autofocus, but get one of these clips. Because um, I wanted to make my extension lead. Now, I did get the pack of, of these ones, which, as you can see, there's quite a size difference. Um, I should put maybe autofocus back on again, maybe. Let's just, uh, let's just stick that back on. Yeah, there you go. So sorry about that if I'm making you go a bit batty with your eyes. So that's a bit small. So it's like, okay, but well that is super diddy and yeah, right, okay. And I couldn't find a, a, an extension that was long enough with that sort of cable to go all the way along here and keep going and keep going and keep going until here where there is, if I, uh, if I could just quickly bring that across and of course my tools that I my little toolbox that I made so it's right next to me is not next to me but that's okay so we're here so you've got a little female there and then I've got I did buy some uh, some male stuff which is uh, they call it uh, something it's made in China so there you go there's there's all the bits and pieces and then you've got the metal bits which are the males and females in a in a little reel. So I've just put that to one side of the wing because we don't need that for a minute. Now I've got my crimper. Um, you can get from various places. My one happened to be from Amazon. It took long enough to come. And that is a crimper. I will leave a little link anyway in case you all really want to make your own servo leads. I'll leave you a link for that. Also I got some servo cable. Now I did get two colours, which is the standard sort of what I like is the sort of uh, signal power and ground. And then you've got uh, the other stuff as well, which is the orange and brown and red, which I think they call JR cable. Maybe I'm not sure, but this is a nice 50 meter. This is great. It's uh, it's also from Amazon. I will leave a link. Um, you can get it from other people, no doubt. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to make this. Now, this is going to be interesting because I'm blind as a bat. Well, I'm not as a bat, you know, because bats are blind anyway and they've got like sensory things. I haven't, but I've got one of these. <laughs> now, if I can zoom out a bit. Zoom. Yes, it's one of these funky, swaggy things. It's even got a light when it's got batteries in. Um, but it's, I wonder if I was thinking, can I get that? So it, should we have a look at that? Okay, maybe it's not, it's going to work and showing you. So let me show you one of these uh, connectors. So now you're zoomed in and zoomed in, zoomed in. So that zoom, 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 zoom. So if I get this packaging off. So I'm going to need females because I think in that wing is it got sticky outy things? Yes, it's got sticky outy things. So technical. Right, let's see if you can see this under here. Oh well, yeah, kind of I suppose. If I zoom in there. Um, yeah, and this is I've got to turn my sensor off because every time I go near the, the little screen it turns my screen off not really good but there you go so we're just, we're just going to cut across there and then you cut the back tail off so let's cut one off we're going to need three but let's cut one off anyway and then i'll just hold it with a little screwdriver no <laughs> pliers 
see if you can see see that there you go can you is it going to zoom in it might do there you go so this tail back bit there needs to be cut off which we will do and it, honestly it is like so diddy it's crazy it really is diddy diddy so and i didn't really know how to get an up close and personal shot to the camera but i need this to build it so i don't know how the hell i'm going to do this let's see if i can bring it up close let's see if it wants to zoom in it probably won't it looks like an alien's attacking you. Yeah, alien's going to be attacking you. It's, it's down here. It wants to. It wants to be here. It's happy here. Um, let's see if I can zoom. Now that's as far as it goes. So I've got to get a little cable in there. It's 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 quite crazy actually to to do. I really should have just. Um, I don't know. Right. So let's get my cable, and I'm going to need to to. So I've got my cable under here. I'm just going to separate it a bit. Um, as I say, these are not going to be, you know, I'm going to have to have a bit of practice at doing these, so that's that. Now, cable strippers. I've got these cable strippers. I'm going to put it on there because you're watching everything. So um, it strips cable, does what it says on the tin. Um, so you can put it in there and it will hold it and, and strip the end. Now, it ha you need to, it's a couple of, it's really small, so I'm going to strip it anyway. I'm not going to show you stripping it because I'm sure there's plenty of cable stripper videos out there on YouTube. And I'm not trying to corner the market on YouTube videos on just about everything that everybody else has done. But uh, basically, it's, uh, you need to get it probably to about like so. You should be able to see that. It should um, be focusing into that. I don't know if we can, if I bring it to the, wow, look at that extreme close up. Let's get my, in there. Let's try and get it in there. It's going to be quite a fun. You can, it's not going to focus in there, I don't think. It's my little extra blind spot. Because you're going to shut it with it. No, it won't. It's too small for it. It just, it just likes it down there. But you can see that's how, that's how much you need to, uh, to cut it down. It's, it's really diddy. Now, it, yes, let's just, just, just get this now. It, there's a ridge. Let's move this out of the way a minute. There's a there's a ridge underneath the teeth there. Uh, where is it? Just in there. You see that ridge just about? Okay. The front of that, this goes into number three. The front of that needs to hit the ridge. Okay. And you just... just Sorry, hang on, what am I talking about? I've done one of these the other day. There we go. Right, so. So it just pushes into. Oops, oh, sorry. Uh, out of, way out of focus. Right. Right, so it just sits in there like that. It's a really horrible way of. Uh, of, of doing this but I'm going to stick that cable in there so I'm just going to wind that a little bit and uh, and push that in and it should just push up to the edge and you crimp and it doesn't go on yeah okay let's do that again shall we real bit of a pain to do this I mean it's not a nice I'm going to maybe take a bit more off bit more bit more sheath Honestly, people out there laughing their heads off. I wouldn't blame you whatsoever. I had a little practice run the other day when this came in. And I thought, yeah, okay, that's going to be cool. And then I thought to myself, well, how am I going to video it? Because I've not really set up for close encounters. You, you know, and I keep putting my finger over there, like some sort of sensor that thinks I'm trying to look for the eyepiece rather than thing. But anyway, this, whatever. Rabbit on, Chris, rabbit on. So let's cut. Look, good job they come in with a few of these, isn't it? Good job I'm not doing this as a living. There's probably lots of videos out there, but you know. Where's the fun in other videos? Is it saying it's got to be the ridge? It's got to be on there. I'm trying to do me. That's. Okay. Right, if you pull it, it's got it's in like a little ridge. So if you see the 
that there that's what I'm trying to do there so the actual even though this is a pointy one of a, a male the actual body is inside so when you're trying to put the cable in it's a pain in the back side so is it there I think so I think we got it if I can just take off let's see if I can bring that in focus see if it's going to be friendly of course it's not going to be bloody friendly here we go excuse me swearing anyway that looks like it is on to me now there's meant to be a little where are they who stole them okay okay two down no one down two to go I must admit this is you know I'm glad I'm not doing this for a living and I'm glad oh, uh, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad I don't make YouTube videos for a living at the moment <sighs> because you know this is the, probably the worst ever I think I'm just going to stick it in as a build I'm not going to put it in as a how to <laughs> because people are just sort of like Give me all them thumbs down things. Right, okay. So that's in there. It'd be nice if it was just sort of poking that out. So you know, it's still poking out there, but it's it's not. I don't. It just it says I've got to go up to the ridge, which is a right pain when you're. I'm repeating myself. I know. It's been one of them weeks as well. So let's push it to the ridge. Now that should go just inside like so, and hey presto, open it up, and it doesn't pull off. This is good. Give it a tug. You've got to give it a tug, because if it don't pull off, happy days. If it pulls off, it's going to fall off. Well, maybe anyway, but last thing you want to do is a servo fail, or in this case, it's not a servo. It's going to be, it's going to be our lead for our receiver. I'm getting good at this. Not. Okay, sorry. If I keep getting out of shot, don't worry about it. Just listen to it, you know, like an audio book. Hi, this is Chris at Dan's RC Hangar, and we are attempting to make the last clip. So if I stick it in there. Oh, hello. Stick it in there. This one's a bit lively. If I stick it in there. Mate, I'm so blind. Right, so push it to the ridge. Push to the ridge. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. <laughs> stick it in the hole. Oh yeah. And then stick it down, crimp it, push it, give it a tug. Oh yeah, baby. We got we got three ends. A round of applause, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you watch. So let's go under the microscope. Well, it's not actually, it's just a zoomy zoomy lens. Here we go. Can it, I bet you, oh yeah, a little sausage. Here we go. There we go. So, now, do these have a certain way of going round? Yes, they do. So, let me get the wing. Let's get my little doctor's microscope thing going on, wherever it is. Let's get the wing in shot. Will everyone stop getting shot? Right, okay. Now, I, I can't remember which way these will go in. This, this goes in there, oh, there you go. Right, so it, it's black. Okay, so, 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 I think it goes in like so, because that clips in there. Black. Then we go red. So there's only one way this goes in, and then kind of like, it, you can hear it, I don't know, you probably can't hear it click, because my dehumidifier just kicked on dehumidifying me which I need to turn it off actually I'll tell you why because it's dangerous to have a dehumidifier while you're sitting right above it because it's sucking all the moisture out of me that's what someone told me now did I now you're saying same goes in one way why didn't that click um or did it click? No, I think it did. Just looks a bit different from the rest. Let's get me 
little pliers in there. Yeah, and there you go. That is a servo lead end made, which will which will slip in, hopefully, in there. Now I you know I, I can only believe that that's working, but what I could do is get a, a little meter um, on the prongs on this side and then cut the cable so let's let's get let's get jiggy with it and cut the cable so let's just give it an ample because you know there's plenty on here and if I'm going to keep uh, <laughs> keep testing then yeah right so what I can do is on the bottom whoa extreme close up on the bottom here I can test if they're toning out on on the on way back here on this so you know I can a polarity here beep 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 but I think that's in there. It, you know, it feels like it's in there. I, th I think it is though. Ah, there you go. Needed the old second push. You know, flip it around a bit. Stick it in good and hard. Right, so when that sticks in there, this is. And I bring them cables round. They, oh, God, off the shot again. Sorry. <laughs> So let's start again, shall I, on that one? So if I stick it back in there, and then this will follow, and trust me, it will. I mean, I might have to poodle about a bit, but I mean, that's already kind of like pushing in. And then this will follow along and go all the way down there. And now that's nice, nice and neat, rather than trying to mega solder and God knows what else. I will test this, see if it beeper bops. So let's uh, let's zoom out a bit more because we don't need to go in so much. Let's get my microscope out of the way. It's not a microscope; it's just a thing with with a thing on it, and that's a thing. So let's <laughs> that would all fit in there. Not really nice, actually. What it's made for. Obviously, I'll, I'll you know maybe I'll just give a bit more slice in there just to, just so it's not showing any cable. Because even though I'm sticking that down there, it's 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 still a bit. Yeah, and then I'm going to bring this round. Now the thing is, is as I said, is this I haven't got this. Um, um, let's bring that in focus. There, can I bring that in focus? Someone focus, focus. I haven't got this little connector. I was hoping to get this connector, but crikey! I mean, if that was as bad as that, can you imagine making them this small? I mean, really? Come on. So let's stick this in. More sticking, doing a lot of sticking in these days on today. I think I'll name the episode The Sticking. Right, so uh, we are only going to need, we're only interested in three of these, which just happens to be the other colour of the other cable. <laughs> of course it is. It doesn't matter though. So I'm going to need, so what I could do, I could put another end on here and join them. It's another join, you say. Yes, I mean, I'll tell you, my clips didn't look as good as this. I'll tell you, a big shout out to Mr. Japan or Japanese or, or China or wherever this come from. Doing a great job. Well done. Pat yourself on the back. So, this is going to stick in there. And I will force my little prongs in there to give it some, a little home. This, uh, maybe I'll cut the top lot off and stick the bottom in because that's quite a bit too stick in as I'm not going to use these at all for servos so I don't really need them um, I could cut them off totally I could even desolder them if I wanted to but oof, I don't know we'll see my main thing is to get these cables tucked in with this and I don't want a ton of cable and connectors and everything else so I don't like I wouldn't hmm. I could make a solder joint I'm thinking out loud now because I thought I had little diddy ones and I'm lying I've got big ones so it could be a solder joint I think because you know I could get another one of these and all I need to do is take out the plug so I just don't like to do solder joints really on this sort of thing but anyway so I'm not going to use these all I had to do, I mean, look at that. I mean, you can't see that because that is so diddy, but that is 
How are they making that diddy? I don't know. I pulled them out. That's literally all I did is just yanked it. So now we haven't got, uh, we've only got our three cables which I want. So, now what I could do, I could use, I could use this, the rail, the unfocused rail. And I could solder these on there with some heat shrink. And then just put a bit of blend, <gasps> blend them, put a bit of blend them. Yeah, we could do that, what do you reckon? I think so. <laughs> okay, the battery went, yep, it did. So, where are we? So our, our iron should be, um, as you can't just be out of focus, but it should be nice and hot, ready to take some uh, some solder, which I think it is. It's the first I've used this actually, so it would be interesting to see how good it is compared to a normal soldering iron. It's pretty good. So I'm not a professional solder by any means. But uh, that looks like that's soldered on nicely. So let's use the other lending hand to hold the lending hand soldering iron. There you go, holding the soldering iron. So I'm um, just I think I think as well. So get in from work and rush. I want to do. It. There's my little uh, lovely um, heat shrink. So we want a uh, white one, we're going to want to just make sure that this fits in here. I'm trying to get this in shot and everything else has been a bit of a pain in the ass. Yep, okay, so we want a black one and we want a red one and a white one. Okay. And do we want one? No, I think that should be okay. Just say. So they're only going to be small, so I probably... Um, but we just cut these down like so because we want them to be bendy and a white one which is there so there's our heat shrink that should be roughly the same size pep for that white iron is a bit bigger alrighty there you go Put these to the side so they you know where they are. We'll just put them back in the box. Back in the box. Right, so now we need our rail. <laughs> well, I say a prep is the main thing, but when you when you're working your ass off, it's hard to bet. So there's my rail. Okay, so let's uh, just hold that there. And because I've got my screwdrivers right next to me, which is great, is that in shot? It's kind of in shot over there, isn't it? There, yeah, sort of. It's all going to be bottom of the screen, Jobby, I'm afraid. <laughs> if I can get things in blooming focus. Right, okay, so that's just a bit, a bit of splurge on there. In fact, if I move around, it'd probably be better than trying to reach over, and then you might get what I'm doing. Right, I'm just going to tin these, and that means just to put a bit of solder on to make them happy, which they seem to be. Now, I'm going to need these now. I'm going to have to spread these out a bit because I need to put the um, heat shrink on, and the heat shrink doesn't need to be right next to the iron because it will shrink when <laughs> it gets the heat, and then it kind of yeah, I mean, I could put a bigger heat shrink on afterwards. <coughs> but let's just get this in. Right, so. What we say, we want black, red and white. So let's start off with the outer edge. In fact, I'm just going to trim these down because you don't need a lot. All this is out of focus. I really apologise. In fact, I could probably take the auto focus off and see what that does. So I'm just trimming these down because we don't need a lot in there. Um, so where did we say? We're going to stick that in here so that would be white. So, so probably need a bit of solder on the end there. I'm just going to make sure I don't get a dry shoulder joint. Now I'm doing them end to end. Oh. So I'm pushing the cable on the uh, pin, holding it while I burn the hell out of my fingers. I should have started the other way there. 
bit easier so let's just stick that round there because you know as you're moving away so uh, the next one the middle one I believe is red so I'm just pushing pushing the cable on the end of the rail I could go next to it on top of it around it but I'm just going to try this first just there and then let the cable sink onto the onto the pin now if you're doing this at home it's probably good to put hold this with pliers because it gets my bloody fingers hot now this soldering iron is the uh, XT60 powered soldering iron that I was speaking about the other day ah oh, that got hot Let's concentrate Chris hang on let's just get this on you should really where's my pliers I thought I was a man, but I'm not. It's, uh, that got a bit hot. You don't want to get these too hot anyway, because you just find that the cable shrinks. So there you go, you're seeing in action the uh, XT60 soldering iron. 400C it's gone up to, it's probably a bit too hot. There's a little connection in the back. That is coming off my new box that I built, if you remember. So let's leave that there. Let's take that off. That's pretty good. They're pretty solid. Um, I believe yeah, they're nice and shiny, which normally means it's a good solder joint shot. Right. Okay. This is my little heat gun. What it is, it's just uh, it's like a it's a hair dryer for a man. Um, <laughs> all it does is blow hot air, a bit like me, and it will shrink these. So let's um, here we go. Let's gonna do this off camera. Here you go. So. Move my stuff out of the way and get in camera. There we go. See, it's all soldered and it's it's not going to touch each other. And now what I can do is I can put this. The yellow will go to white. There's my connection. Boom! Wow. There you go. My okay. That wasn't the best video ever. I mean, I needed something that looks down. I'm going to probably. Uh, maybe uh, make a, um, a jig or something to hold uh, one of my FPV cameras um, my orange one which the name uh, comes out my brain whatever one it is you know what it is um, so then I can do more of an on top shot because it was a bit of a nightmare trying to see what I was doing and make sure I was in shot um, as you can see I'm no way an expert in making servo connections um, but you know if you keep doing them you'll get better I think it's more it's harder doing it on a camera trying to show you um, unless you take about 50 outtakes and basically I wanted to show you what you know we was going to do on the wing basically which I'm really happy it all fits in there I'm just going to play a bit, a bit, a bit more off camera um, cut slice a bit more then put maybe put some uh, some CA glue or something some type of glue in there to keep it in there so it holds in there um, excuse me cut a bit more out for the receiver stick it in so it's nice and um, and um, and see what I can do else. What else I can do, should I say? But you'll see that on the next build, which obviously we're going to start kicking in. Well, not obviously, but we're going to start kicking into the uh, into the uh, video transmitter. Stick that in. Now I was looking at another plane, and I decided not to buy it. I know, I know, sacrilege! You've all just fainted. You're all now crying in the corner and rocking. And it is a Friday. But I want to get a 3D printer. A couple of people that I watch on, on channels, which I don't think I actually you see who I belong to or who I follow. So I must tick that box because some people are really cool who I follow. And, um, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I want a little a cover for this bit of wing, if I want to do something else and wheel up my trays uh, and make a tray, why not 3D print myself, 3D print myself, you know. Um, so yeah, I've been looking into that and I'm thinking, well, I've got lots of planes, you know, I can hold off a bit longer, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so look out for that anyway. But anyway, so sorry about this video, it seems a bit rushed, but I wanted to get the Friday movie out. Um, it's a bit crazy day and I didn't start the video as quickly as I wanted to. So, keep safe. And before I say any more than that, is um, thank you for all the people that are following me. There's obviously some random people out there that suddenly follow you and say hello and everything else. And before you know it, you see they disappear. You don't really know they disappear, but you know who disappears, which is a bit sad, really. 
you know you're here to follow my journey on RC and hopefully I might be able to show you some fun things even show you a plane before you buy it and that's what it's all about so thanks ever so much for joining if you haven't please subscribe just just subscribe you don't need to do the bell so listen out when I do a movie just randomly look at my channel and see if I've done anything interesting that might interest you or make you laugh I mean this has got to make you laugh today I mean that was just a nightmare um, I've yet to obviously I will uh, see it when I sort of put the uh, upload the movie and stuff but oh, what a nightmare but hey you know not everything's perfect and this is about this channel it's not perfect you know it's just me in my RC hangar doing RC stuff with planes that sounds a bit wrong but anyway keep safe keep flying and have fun see you next time bye bye